and we are once again live. <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, just had a piece of zucchini bread, so my throat's a little, uh, well, I literally just swallowed it, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uno memento. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, welcome back to Coop Couch Gaming, all you Coop operatives out there, uh, as well as anybody else uh, that's happened to come and join me on the couch today. Uh, but uh, yeah. This game so far has been pretty dang good. Not gonna lie, Ashen's been pretty dang good so far. I'm just gonna get right back into it because, like, like I want to see where all this goes. Um, so last time we helped Jokel uh, do some stuff. He told us about Vorsa and how she was looking for some medicine that would help Bataran. Uh, I don't know. It would regrow his arm or something like that. Uh, it was medicine for his arm. So. That is uh, what we are gonna look at. <laughs> Beat him up. Oh, I still need the. I still need to try to figure out like what a good stamina ratio is. You know what I mean? As far as like how many times to attack before considering like something else, right? Yeah, because I, because I'm still, I'm getting killed primarily just because I keep running out of stamina when I don't think that I am if that makes sense or you know you know what I mean it's like that's what's getting me killed is the lack of stamina to be able to perform attacks then blocks right I mean for an enemy like that it's literally no problem but <laughs> against other certain enemies it's like a little bit oh is that the person we need to talk to like literally right here I mean that would be super convenient if so hello Nice hairdo. Got a couple of leaves in your hair. I just thought I would. Uh, I, I would just make you aware. I am Vorsa. Have you seen how the deer move towards the light? Have you seen how the deer move towards the light? But that same flame fills me with dread. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. With Bataran. He has a knack for taking in strays. Taking in strays. I was like that once. Hmm. His fear was a vagrant. I was. Until Bataran hmm. took me under his wing. Hmm. He had two arms back then. The sickness will take the other if I don't. Oh, okay. So Vorsa I misunderstood what they were talking about. It's literally he's sick, and that's what caused him to have his arm gone. I was under the impression that they were talking like. Not the only one. Uh. <laughs> I was under the impression that they were um, literally trying to find medicine to like regrow an arm. I was just like, I don't, I don't think that that's how that works. Okay. Animal gets sick though. That's why I hunt them. To find out why. Ain't with me. Wild hounds. Three should be enough. Sounds good to me. On three Anar. Or Enar. Just joined your tent. Oh, it's joined my okay, okay. So I was right. We are going to slowly but surely recruit more people. That is a pretty neat uh mechanic. Uh, I quite like that. It incentivizes you to do side quests and such, right? Oh, that's really far away though. We're now let's where are we? Oh, we're way up there. Goodness. Um, yeah, because that's way. We should probably just return the Jekyll for now, or J Jokel for now. Um, since, you know, that's not going to take us too awful long to do. Because, yeah, to go to that other place, that's going to be. We're going to we're gonna do that sort of in route. Um, you know, well, once we have another mission taking us down that way. So that's that's pretty far away from uh from home base here. Beat him up. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we don't want to get too far away from uh the starting area quite yet, I don't think. Yeah, we don't want to get too far away. Mr. Jokel over here. I'm about to talk to you all the way back at uh back at the town instead of just like talking to you right here beside me. Ugh. Joke will be joking. Alright. 
Get him. Get him. Oh, he didn't fall. He didn't fall. Okay. It's been two in the past, but I guess not this time. Oh, I forgot we have, um, we have a Crimson Gourd now. We have the Gourd. <laughs> here's your Gourd. <laughs> I just realized Jokel just, here's you, here's your Gourd at us. That is the best worst thing that I just thought of. <laughs> My man Jokel literally hit us with a, here's your Gourd. I don't like you. It's literally a, a spirit with an axe through his shoulder. I don't think I like that. Oh, thank you, Jokel. That's actually very, very helpful. I don't... He's got to be an enemy considering he has a health bar, right? But maybe, maybe this is like a scripted thing. It seems like he's really not fighting us, so. Oh, I say that. I say that, but now he's. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll just beat him into a corner. There we go. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Jeez, that was a lot. That was a lot less worrying than I thought it'd be. I thought that that thing was going to be like an actual nightmare demon, but it turns out it was just a big, big baby. Oh, but there's more. There's more of them. Oh, I heard. What the? Oh, they're literally fighting. Let's help. Help the vi- Oh, I don't know about the big one. Okay, why don't we- Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Spinny Man over here. Whoa, Jokel is down. What do you mean Jokel is down? Hold up. Here, Jokel. Jokel! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> wow, that went from, like, a jovial time. Like, we just destroyed the one, no problem. To immediately getting surrounded by three of them. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to see where this game's going. <laughs> this game uh, clearly is the type to lure you into a false sense of security, and then it piles on the difficulty. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, goodness. That was pretty rough. Like, those guys just came out of nowhere and immediately slammed us. Oh, man, but I'm about to get my souls back. Man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, well, whatever the currency is called in this game. Uh, actually, before we do that, since we're in town already, let's talk, uh, talk to Jokel first. Hello. What you doing? You're still going to bring me those Einar heads. I am. I'm gonna get them. The Just they happen to be really far away compared to where we are now. But we'll get them. We'll get them in time. Um. Hey, Jokel, I found the person for, for you. I hope Bataran doesn't mind us asking, asking her to come. Maybe we can Maybe find a cure and whatnot. Just as the light has returned. Ah, still haunts my dreams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he urges me to find our father, Vaughn. He and Ahu were very secretive about where mm. they were going. There's a mark. On the There's map. a mark on the map. The, the eye of the eye needle. Of the needle. I think we should start out by searching there. Okay. Look for Jokel's father in the. Oh wow, okay, so both of those are down to the south. So really our next mission should be just the, the this one. I mean, that's pretty close. That's pretty close by. Before we do that though, we are 100% needing to get our souls back or our, our, our money back because uh, that was like a solid like thousand of them or something like that, so that is a large enough sum to where I absolutely don't want to lose them. You know, honestly, honestly, what, what we can do, um, go ahead and equip that. And then what we can do is go get the items and then we can use this to return to the town, right? So, whoa, that, that is not what was here before. What? 
okay so that's not the entrance that i had then like where where did i go into that place at because that's absolutely not it <laughs> giant armored rock crab standing in the way it's like what i don't know if i trust you at all <laughs> literally zero trust is is had okay i'm pretty sure this is the cave yeah because there's the shadow man uh, let's go ahead and deal with the little guys here first, though. There we go. Get him. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. No, you don't. Nice. Nice, Jokel. Nice. Okay, so the Shadow Demon... The Shadow Demon's here. I have a feeling it's, it's gonna do the thing that it did last time. It's gonna make us follow it through the Tunnel of Doom and Death. I know, I see. Wh what? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, come on with that. Oh, that. Mm, mm, mm. That was so much money, I'm assuming. Oh, that, oh that's rough. Mm. Well, you know, when you get into a new game like this, that is to be expected. I just need to remember that. I'm not going to be able to no death this like Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to no death this like uh, like Mortal Shell or anything like that. This is a totally different thing. Mm. But man, that's frustrating. Oh, that's so frustrating. Man, because that was, that was all the souls that we've gotten up from the start of the game until now. It's like, ah, oh man, that's so rough. I mean, hopefully if we go back, we'll be able to at least get the souls that we were rewarded from the, uh, the Jokel, from Jokel, from that last quest thing that we did. So hopefully we can at least get those back. Plus however many we get, we get from, uh, fighting these, uh, little minion guys. Man, I'm out of stamina again. Man, yeah, there, there, there's definitely a learning curve to be had with trying to like figure out what kind of, what kind of, what kind of uh, back and forth we need to try to aim for. Because yeah, like that's that's absolutely what's getting me killed every single time. It's just like not quite knowing like how back and forth I need to be with it. Okay, excuse me. Okay, so he has the, like, a darn move where he does, like, a dash. That's what got us killed. We got killed by, like, a little dash move. His normal attacks aren't too bad. As long as we can avoid them. You know, I, I don't think that we really need to be in there. Let, let, let's head back out. Now, let's just keep doing quests and stuff. Because, yeah, I feel like those guys are maybe a little too powerful. Or at least as a group, I, I, like fighting one's not like it's a cakewalk, but like yeah, the moment that more of them showed up, like that was that was really bad. Yeah, we cannot we cannot fight that many of them simultaneously. At least not yet. I'm assuming I'm assuming we'll eventually get some new armor, given that we have an armor slot. So once we have some new armor and maybe even new weapons, then. Uh, we'll come back there because i'm sure it's i mean i'm sure it's worth doing but like right now right now i don't think it's worth worth it that being said i am curious about the armor crab over here the big old little crabby man what's the likelihood that you're gonna be horrible to fight i guess is the question oh okay okay no i think this is doable okay it looks like they have a lot of health though Okay, no, this is definitely doable. Yeah. It'd be kind of nice. Hey, Jokel. Where you at, Jokel? Like, would be kind of nice if I had a friend about right now. Oh, miss. I swung and I missed. I went and swung and I missed. Oh, I did it again. Stop running around. There we go, stagger. Perfect. 
All right, go ahead, drink another gourd. Oh man, sweep attack. Wasn't expecting that. Ah. Okay, I, I need to take my time. I need to be patient. I'm trying to. I'm trying to just speed run through this guy. But that's not the way to fight him. Ah oh, man, I, I do not like the swingy, the swingy move. Right, come on. All right, perfect. Man, I keep underestimating the range, or overestimating the range. One or the other. I, I'm estimating the range, and I'm estimating it incorrectly. In either case. Man. Okay, um... I don't... I, I don't quite know what that does, but I accidentally keep hitting it. Now, I want to go ahead and eat one of these, just... Because I feel like... I feel like we can beat this guy. And we'll probably get some pretty decent stuff from... Really? Ah, oh, man. Okay. And I feel like if we do beat him, we'll get some pretty decent stuff, so... Like, we really should try. Ah, swing and a miss. Perfect. Okay. No, no, no! Ah, I messed it up again. Okay, let's... Ooh, I do not want to fall down the hill either. Ah, man, I... Ah. Okay. That's the last of our consumables. Oh, but yeah, there's an item in the cave, though. And we really do want to get the item. Okay, he is almost dead, though. This should actually finish him off. There we go. Perfect. Not too bad. Not too... What? I took damage. I'm not a fan of whatever that was. Hey, I'll take you. I think that's... Hey, yeah. That was absolutely worth it. That was absolutely worth Okay, and yeah, that's everything in there. Yeah, anytime we get more stamina, I am down for it. Like, straight up. Like, stamina is a good thing in this game, I would argue. And now you show up, Jokel. <laughs> Where have you been the whole time? So, I still don't know what that does. Maybe I'm not supposed to know. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so it's literally just like a, hey, do you need some extra direction? Here's, like, the path that you should take. I mean, I guess so. I I, I don't know. Something like that, anyway. Okay, so we just need to go... Yeah, let's let's just do this. We'll, we'll, we'll help bat, bat around first. We could go there, but that's pretty far off. So I kind of feel like let's just do the... Uh, so we need to go to the Restless Knoll is the next place to go currently. Let's check out... um, What do you call them in here? Yeah. Crimson Gourd. Man, we would have had enough if I hadn't lost my uh, lost the money. If I hadn't lost it, then we would have had enough. I am curious. How much are these worth? Okay, so Scoria is the currency. Okay, Scoria. I'll have to remember that. Oh, actually. Actually, that's something that we can go ahead and do. Because I feel like, yeah. If it's two fifty a piece, then yeah, we'll have enough to be able to afford a Gord update. Uh, update. A Gord upgrade. So yeah, let's go ahead and just burn those. Because yeah, that'll put, us, that'll put us up to where we need to be. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that gourd. Yeah. Perfect. So we got ourselves a gourd. Speaking of which, we need to go and refill. So yeah, because we got we need to get a refill here. Perfect. Look at that. Now ain't that cool. <laughs> nice. Alright, so. So we really are just like kind of like finding people to bring back to basically what equates to like the 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 the, the really <laughs> I I keep wanting to hit triangle I, I keep wanting to hit triangle to interact with objects and people I need to remember X button <laughs> Oh I'm so bad at video games man <laughs> oh, I'm actually the worst 
Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, I keep hitting, I keep trying to hit the triangle to interact with uh, the different objects and stuff. But like, I legit just keep messing it up and, oh man, that's so bad. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm just so bad at video games in general, for being honest though. Oh, okay. Well, let's not do that again. <laughs> let's try not to fall off the cliff by literally jumping to our deaths. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, I know. Score every gain. We got it. <laughs> Man, that is... Oh, that's unfortunate. Wonder fall damage? Okay, no. Nah. Okay. So... Sorry, I'm still trying to get, like, an estimate of, like, what you can and can't do in this game. If that makes sense. Like, uh, what do you call them? Yeah, like testing to see like when you start to take fall damage. Uh, just for an example. Oh. Let's see, knock you off. Blah! Got him. Oh, looks like he don't know how to even swim. Then again, I guess we don't either, considering as soon as we get into water that's any deeper than our height, we literally start to drown. So, you know, I guess we're kind of in the same boat. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the same boat that, they, that that guy was in, honestly. Okay, so... We are heading up to the place that we need to be, the Annex of Light. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Bataran's already up here waiting on us. I did kind of want to explore around here first, though. Yeah, we got a lot of... We got a lot of friends over here. Here. I, I've got my friendship... My friendship club. Oh, jeez. Man, he really got absorbed in the, uh, just with how friendshipy that, uh, club was. <laughs> he was so involved in the friendship that he literally disintegrated because it was just so overwhelmingly friendly. Alright, yeah, Mr. Big, Big Shield Man, get out of here. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? There we go. That's what you like to see. Also, ooh. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, hold up. Is that one hand, two hand? What is that? Okay. Savage simplicity of a uh, cudgel made even more vicious. I mean, that's basically, that's just a solid upgrade from the beat stick, right? Yeah, let's, let's, let's switch a Rooney. Let's, let's go full beat stick here. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's way more brutal and faster somehow. Whoa. Okay. That is pretty dang cool. Oh yeah. Okay. That's just like a solid upgrade is what that is. That's quite literally just an upgrade. For lack of a better way to put it like that's just that's just like actually good nice that's what you like to see that's what you like to see all right so bataran over here all right annex of light what's going on up here buddy the darkness hungers within these buried halls take this lantern lest the starving shadows consume you Sure, I'll take a lantern. Uh, Tinker's lantern. Okay. Ah. Look how fancy this is. All right. Um. Speaking of which, uh, is there a way that we open this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the button that says clearly open. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I really want to play this multiplayer now. Uh, I want to play this two player because that's such a cool mechanic. Like, ah, it's so cool. Like when they like video games do that, like actually incentivize you to like play with other people and to like do multiplayer. There's a lot of games that like don't really do like co-op anymore. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean they do. Well, um, um, what I do. Oh, I dropped it. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I thought I literally dropped it and couldn't pick it back up. 
I got a little scared. Okay, because you can put it on the ground. I guess if you wanted to, like, pull out your shield instead, then you have the option to do so. But I guess you would risk not being able to see either. Because how dark would it actually be? Well, it's a little misleading because Jokel has a light. I mean, I could see where this would actually be pretty dark if you didn't have... I don't think I like the... I don't think I like the, uh, the, the blood ceiling. Okay, sap. Correction, it's the sap ceiling. But in either case, I don't think that I really like the sap ceiling. <laughs> so this game definitely has, like, uh, like, certainly, like, the idea, like, concept of, like, world tree vibes to it, right? Like... Honestly, I mean, you know, Elden Ring basically did the same thing. It, it is a fairly... I mean, you know, it, it, there's a reason why it's, like, a fairly common, um, like, setting idea, right? Because, like, I don't like whatever you are already. And I haven't even seen what you are. Oh, yeah, I immediately don't like this. What in the world is it? Kill it with fire. <laughs> I hated whatever that was. Whoa! Not a fan of the demon spider. Speaking of which, we could go in here. But there's a whole nother route the other way. Okay, so there's no dungeon maps. So we're gonna have to set to go from, uh... From memory, as it were. Uh, pardon the yawn. <laughs> yeah, pardon, pardon the yawn. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Can't go down that way. Round it is, then. Oh, a stone axe? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. I'm assuming all these different tools have purposes, because, I mean, they're... At face value, it doesn't make sense why you would need two separate axes. I mean, it's literally the same. Ho! Oh! That was totally accidental, but also the best thing I could have done. <laughs> like, I, 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 again, I hit the triangle button, but this time it actually paid off. Yeah, this time it actually paid off somehow. Like, no, no, it, it is triangle to climb. I guess if you're running, you can't climb. I, I guess is what it is. Like, you have to approach ladders slowly and purposefully. Okay, but what what about the shield? So, oh, so shields decrease your stamina regen. So stamina. Okay, so that's just a just a just an actual improvement in all regards. Oh, not when I put my lantern down. Okay, so yeah, that's just a better shield. Um. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we need to move a little slower here because we're gonna have we're gonna have some nasty creatures around the corner. Speaking of which, do not do not what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nasty creature, get out of here. You yeah, get out of here. Perfect. Oh, 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 he, oh, he's eating. He's he's doing the Jimmy. He's doing the 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 juice the juice cleanse or whatever that he does. Not a fan. Not gonna lie. Not a fan of that. Uh, what do we got? Some food. I keep, I keep wanting to, I keep wanting to, like, push the, like, the block button with the lantern to, like, hold it up and increase the range of it. <laughs> a la, um, Elden Ring style. Where you just, like, hold the torch up and it's just like, ah, now I can see everything. I keep wanting to do that, but, like, that's clearly not the way you're supposed to do it in this game. Like, there's no... Like, your lantern is your lantern. Like, just don't push the button. Because <laughs> I keep, uh, I keep hitting the wrong bling. Oh! Whoa! Didn't realize this was a horror game. Could you not, maybe? Like, <laughs> oh. Okay. I, that was something that happened. 
can't say I know what happened, but it, something did. <laughs> oh, this game. Ouch. Okay. I was going to say, I didn't realize this game was a horror game. I'll take a bite. Oh, really? Really? Well, what's that about? Some oh 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 this is actually a boss. Whoa, okay. Okay. Noted. Okay, okay. Oh garbage, it's so dark. Ah, uh, get him. Get him. Ow, okay. Okay, so they actually do hurt a lot. Oh, okay, so there is sap there, perfect. So we do have um, like a health a health thing. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I am curious if there is a way in this game where you could actually play. I mean, there's really no way to do this game as a solo game, right? Like in theory, because there's certain mechanics to this game that require two players. So I guess there really is no solo way to actually play this like at all. Um, you know, which isn't bad, but... Oh, that was the thing in the wall. It was this guy. That's what, like, shot out real quick. I, I was like, I was like, what in the world happened? Like, something shot out of the wall? I was so confused earlier. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense once you know, like, what you're looking at. Uh, he's gonna blow up, isn't he? Yeah, I, I should've known. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Ukoto. Ukoto, the, the lightless or whatever. I don't know. I feel like every enemy in any game should have... Ow, that hurt a lot. I feel like every enemy in every game should have some sort of a title, right? Okay, so... Where'd he go? There he is. Man, he's... He's a tricky one to try to hit, I'll tell you what. Could you not, Mr. Man? Gollum having... Looking like a golem over here. Get out of here. What, you hiding in the wall now? Ugh. I think, I think we literally just hit him, right? I think that's what I did last time. Missed. Oh man, Jokel's almost... Oh, okay, who is she? She's going to say, Jokel, please heal. Oh, oh, I need to back up, back up, back up. Okay, perfect. Ah, miss. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Yeah, beat him up. Beat him up. Oh. Okay. No. No, you don't. 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 Ha! Got him. It's like, oh, jeez. I'm dead or whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it turns out being literally a shadow demon maybe doesn't make you indestructible. <laughs> like I thought it did. Ukoto defeated. Hey, Ukoto's faceplate. It's an artifact. And then crafting something was also acquired. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and drink because there was... Well, assuming, assuming that we can still find the, uh, the sap that was around here. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's go ahead and drink this. And then we can get our stuff back before we, uh, leave the dungeon. That way we can go right to the next bit without having to rest, so. Uh, here's the door. Perfect. Yeah, what we got? That thing's dead. Hopefully. Yeah. Jeez, what happened here? Oh! I don't like whatever that was. I don't like that at all. Giant fish looking tail having something. Oh, hello. Hello. You have slain an elder dog. I have, actually. Surprising. You have earned the right to see the mother of the burning water. Yeah, sounds good to me. This traveler has come to seek your wisdom. I have, yeah.
Bam, 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 bam. Well then. Wasn't expecting giant lady. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, are you going to say anything? Listener and human were united in hope. Oh, she's one of the Titans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet she's one of the Titans from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Recover the broken hearts. Okay. Okay. So I'm more or less, this is our acquired the Lord Souls uh, quest line. Sounds like a plan to me, though. I'm down for it. Amara was once seer of Lathyrus. I bind her to you until the heart is found. Mm hmm. Sounds good to me. Oh, Amara. Oh. Well, they're out of here. Oh, wow. Oh, it is like a mermaid. Okay. It's like. Okay, giant lady in the ocean or in the uh, the the place here. I was a little confused. Okay, I kind of feel like probably our best bet to get out now is probably to use one of the uh, one of the uh, what do you call them? This right. Well, you know, before we do that, let's go back because maybe there's like a scripted thing that we have to see. Oh, actually, there's a little hidden a hidden passage here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing we didn't teleport back. Oh, well. <laughs> it literally gave us one, another one, so maybe maybe that's... Oh, climb up. Wait, well, hold up. Climb up. Here. Wait, why did I need to climb up here? Oh. Um, I... Okay, yeah. <laughs> climb up to nowhere. <laughs> like, thank you. Oh, okay. It does it at every interactable like that. Okay. I was like, why is this important? <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's like, I don't... Oh! 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 I didn't expect there to be enemies. Uh, okay, I thought we beat the dungeon. Okay, okay. Clearly, there's still more to, to, to watch out for. So, now is not the time to get to, uh, to readily, uh, doom death E. Okay. So, there's a ladder up. It's another Creech. Ouch. Oh, okay, actually, actually. Yeah, 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 Jokel, please help him finish him off. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what you like to see right there. Oh, good thing, yeah, good thing we did not teleport out. There's so many good things here. Yeah, that's just a solid improvement. Huh? Uh, stamina regen. Ugh, minus 10% stamina regen. I mean, that's kind of rough. Oh, I almost fell in the water. <laughs> I will say, like, I haven't really said too much about, the, like, the visuals yet in this game, but, like, this game looks really nice. Like, I know that I I, I, I did bring up how it's like, oh, it's pretty cool. It's, like, almost kind of claymation-y, like, and I'm really a fan of that style, you know what I mean? But, like, just overall, like, you know, outside of it just being, like, like I said, kind of claymation-esque. Like, the actual visuals are, like, actually pretty good. Like, from, like, just an overall, like, quality graphic standpoint, if that makes sense. Like, man, I am literally getting just stuck on a platform here. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, they're giving us lots of those remains. 
Um, so those are going to be very, very handy when the time comes. So I would imagine at some point, at some point we're going to get into a situation where we're going to have to, or not necessarily have to, but most likely definitely benefit from uh, teleporting back. Um, because, like, you know, it's basically a shortcut to leave. Um, basically a shortcut to leave, like, a really big dungeons, more or less, I would probably think. Oh, I wonder at some point if we can actually, like, hunt the animals and get uh, different uh, resources and stuff from them. I'm assuming that's probably a thing that we can do, but... Uh, we quite haven't gotten that far in life yet, so uh, I'm not going to assume too much either. Jeez, Jokel! Literally just hewn them in half. Okay, that's a spearhead. That's interesting. Because that implies that there's potentially a crafting mechanic where we can, like, create new weapons. Utilizing resources from other enemies, right? So that... Really? God, could I not swim? <laughs> I didn't realize that I would instantly drown. That hasn't happened before. What? I mean, okay. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that. Like, literally the past few times I've been able to, like, swim around for a little bit. And it would say, like, oh, drowning. But apparently, like, I don't know, I guess it was too deep, question mark? Like, eh, I don't know. Uh, this is why, and, and I said it th this at the beginning, like, I do not want to get near water. I'm going to drown if I get in water. There's a good chance that you drown if you get in the water. And, oh boy, that's exactly what happened. Because uh, apparently, I, I just fell in the water and it decided to drown me instead of allowing me to, like, swim around for a second. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Well, we'll grab our stuff and then, uh, Oh, do not, do no, 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 <laughs> do not do the big fall like I did that other time. That would actually make me the big sad, is what that would make me, the big sad. So, yeah, souls are there by the shoreline. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Shield Man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, nice. Nice guy. Uh, Jokel, do you just like keep finding new weapons? <laughs> I tell you, Jokel, every single time I see Jokel, it's like he has a new weapon just out of the blue. And it's just like, Jokel, like, where are you finding all these armaments, dude? <laughs> like, it's like he's got a big old axe. He's got apparently a golden club of the ancients. Like, how many weapons do you have, buddy? I mean, it's impressive. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining, but like, man, the diversity of weapons you have is quite impressive. <laughs> it's like, goodness, dude. Okay, so how am I supposed to get back across the water then? If apparently I can sometimes just drown out of the blue. Yeah, because, okay, because yeah, it works here, but also it doesn't work well enough to where I won't drown. Ah. No, you can do it. Climb. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's really nice. Like it actually leaves a texture behind. Um. Oh, that's so cool. It has been Okay, no, not not footprints. I was gonna say if they actually did like a footprint mechanic, that would be pretty insane too. Like, I mean, overall though, like this game, like this, this is just like. This is a, the type of game where, like, I don't know, I feel like even during the, like, frustrating bits, right? Where, like, oh, you're fighting a boss or whatever, right? Like, I feel like that this game is, like, chill enough. Like, as far as, like, visually... Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. How did I swim across before? Because <laughs> I have swam across these before. And... Apparently, I just don't know how to do it now. <laughs> but, uh... But no, like, I feel like this is the type of game, like, even, like, when you have frustrating enemies that you come across, um... Uh, like... The art style and everything is, like... 
sort of peaceful enough to where it's just kind of like, eh, all right. It's like, eh, you know, not everything's bad, you know, not not everything's bad with the world, you know, like, you know, we, we can still have a great fun time with it, uh, you know, despite the trials and uh, tribulations that we come across. Okay, so let's just do this um, by not drowning this time. We need to try to find somewhere that's like uh, closer to um, or like we need to find a place that's shallow or because like apparently apparently the past couple places I've tried have all been way too deep to get across and I'm surprised considering I've, I did it before. I don't know what I did differently this time though. Apparently I'm doing something different. You know what I mean? For it to not be working out for me here. Got him. All right, so that's good. All right, let's find our let's find our uh, our scoria here. Go ahead and acquire that again from where I literally drowned in the exact same spot. Uh, I'm assuming the reeds, the reeds. That's okay. That's it. That's our evidence. Mhm. Mm See, and this is what I mean about like having. Okay, for any of you that. Uh, watched the uh, Devil May Cry series um, or the Devil May Cry playthrough that I did um, uh, the other night my major like my main complaint with that game is that it didn't really convey it didn't really convey um, like it didn't convey like the answer to the puzzle is how I worded it more or less it didn't convey the answers to the puzzles like either audibly visually like it just it didn't telegraph itself well enough for the player to know like oh this is what i should be doing um in order to like beat like this boss or like to do this situation right um this game like so far anyway like you know i'm i'm new to it and at the same time, there's a level of familiarity with it, and I haven't really questioned, like, I haven't, I haven't, like, come across things that I question and don't find answers to, if that makes sense. So, like, the idea of, like, trying to cross the, uh, the river, right? Like, I was able to deduce, like, oh, okay, I am doing it wrong, but there's an answer, and it's visually made clear. You know, it's like you can deduce the puzzle without trial and error. <laughs> um, if you're just like taking it slowly enough and are patient enough, you know what I mean? Versus I feel like like uh, like Devil, Devil May Cry and there's other games, you know, that are in a very similar position. They just don't really give you enough clue as to like what the answer is. They just expect you to more or less struggle until you beat it and to me that's just not a good way to that, that's really just not a good way to do it honestly because like I, I don't know it just I don't know there needs to be some like a bit more indication when it comes to these types of things right um that way you don't have to rely on solely trial and error you know because for some players that's going to be a huge turnoff for games like that um, especially a game like like that where it's like it sets itself up to be sort of a fast-paced action um, like action game right like it's a faster paced action game uh, at the end of the day and if you're having to spend like an hour plus trying to figure out something in a game like that you're really going to get frustrated really quick um, simply because like you know you it really it really just destroys the pacing of what genre of game it is and it's like eh i don't know you know if you have a different opinion than me hey you know feel free to uh say something in the chat or whatever or the uh you know leave a comment but that that's my take on it is like i feel like if you're going to do that however I sense a great darkness within it. May I see it? Yeah, you can see it. 
but uh yeah yeah that, that, that's more or less my stance on it it's just like yeah if you're going to i don't know there's certain cues as a dev that you can give to your player that makes the game's progression go a lot more smoothly and the fact that like like i said you know it's like i need to answer the puzzle on this and i was able to deduce it just because i took my time and was patient and actually looked instead of trying to run through it like it, it worked out but anyway continuing on <laughs> Now there are but two. And now there are but two. Sure that Amara will make good use of Akoto's corrupted face. That was our fact. As you can see, I have created an anvil upon which to forge the ash. Bring your weapons to the anvil mm. so that I may reforge them and make them stronger. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that effectively gives us a way to level up. So that is very, very nice. Okay, so yeah, use the anvil. Okay, Amara also has a main quest associated with them. So that's good. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and check this out. And then I'm gonna take a little intermission and then we'll be back uh back to the good old uh situation we got here. Honestly, so far the the spiked cudgel is actually pretty darn good. Like, let's just level that up. Because, yeah, that's pretty good. Man, 4,500. That's... Eesh. That's going to take a while. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. So far, the, the, the cudgel's pretty good. Like, it seems like it's going to be a pretty solid choice. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, too. And then we can call it, uh, call it there for now. Man, she tall. Man, she real tall. The desperate shadows grow more dangerous. Akoto was one such shadow. His faceplate remains drenched in dark power. Hmm. You cannot fight the shadows without my help. Only I can draw the light from your scoria. Here, take this talisman to my weaving table, and I will show you how it is done. Hey, so, all right, I'm down for unlocking power. Sounds good to me. Oh, okay, so interesting. Different relics. Orbs appear when striking enemies, dealing bonus damage based on the weapon you yield. Orbs disappear when you are hit. I don't quite... It's earth. Miter foam that provides a thin barrier against despair. Oh wow, okay, so it costs 10,000 to set up Ukoto's Guile. Okay, and it costs 1,000 to go with any of these. Ooh, balance actually sounds like it could be pretty good. A stun bonus when wielding a lantern, that could be good for dungeon delves. So that might be a decent choice. Damage resistance increase over time. Okay, so that's basically just like a defense buff. Um, health is increased. Balance seems like it would be a pretty good one, but I mean, we don't have the stuff for it. Yeah, we don't have the stuff for it quite yet. Bound me to help you, but I cannot find the hearts without my lyre. It allows me to weave light and sound, to feel the very edges of the world. Of the world. When I protected Geffen from the Koto, the Elder Dark. Well, that's thanks. Nearby in the forest, the vagrants make a glue that could hmm. make it whole again. Is it Flex Seal Liquid? Flex Seal Liquid might help it to be stuck together then you won't even have to worry about it getting what waterproof bruh perfect for somebody that worships a uh, uh a listener giant water titan lady i don't think they actually worship them they just act on behalf thereof anyway speaking of i'm going to take a little bit of an intermission i'm gonna be right back so i will see you guys here soon 
Uh, thanks again to all you Coop operatives out there uh, for joining me on the couch, as well as anybody else that happened to drop by this evening. So, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to be right back. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye, and see you soon.